is a strong tower, Jesus. To you belong all power, Jesus. Whenever I call your name, you make a way. Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. Your name, your name. unto the Lord because he's a faithful God hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne Father we give you praise we are going to open our mouth to thank God this morning concerning our big mommy from the inception of IWPC to this moment God has been faithful to her he has, faith, he has been faithful, he has been gracious unto our big mommy he has strengthened her he has anointed her I want you to open your mouth and thank God there is not a place that we have come that you say you will not see big mommy because the Lord has favored her. Open your mouth and thank God for her life. Thank God for her life. She's a covenant. The Lord spoke to her and that's why we are here. Give him praise for her life. Give him praise for the life of her mommy. Father, we thank you for the life of your handmaiden. We thank you for what you have been doing in her life. Father, from the section of our listen to this moment, you have been faithful to her. Lord, we give you praise. We exalt your name because you are good. Thank you, faithful Father. Be thou exalted, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 93, verse 5a says, Thy testimonies are very sure. The testimonies of our big mommy are very sure. We could see it all around her. We could see it wherever she is. That the testimony of God in her life is very sure. Believe that you are closed, continue not lift her up before God. Even in this month, in June, May, June, her is around the corner. The Lord will beautify her. He will beautify her like never before. Strength like never before. Double. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today's theme says overcoming barriers. If you know what barrier means, you will pray. Overcoming barriers. Sometimes you don't even know what is wrong. There are barriers. You say you have prayed and prayed, nothing is happening. There are barriers. There are obstacles. 
There are hindrances on the way and they are just there stopping you. It's not because God has not answered. He has answered. But obstacles on the way, barriers on the way, not letting you to, to break through. Today they are going to come down. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for obstacles, both spiritual and physical. It can be both spiritual and physical. Some obstacles we brought ourselves. Some obstacles the enemy is attacking. Different obstacles. So we are going to pray this morning. That every obstacle will come down. Every obstacle, every obstacle will give way. Because God is said to do great and mighty things. Hallelujah. So let's open our mouth and begin to pray. That every obstacle the enemy has put in the way for this meeting, let it come down. Because we are here to meet with our maker. Every obstacle that the enemy has put in place so that things will not happen in this meeting, it will not be so. Bring it down in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Against every obstacle that the enemy has brought into this meeting, bring it down in the name of Jesus. You must overcome every obstacle in today's meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Pray for open heaven. Pray for open heaven that today the heavens will be open unto us. That today the heavens will be open unto us. Like never before. Today every obstacle will fly out. Nothing will hinder us in this place. Nothing will stop our prayer. Nothing will stop the testimony that God has given to us. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Begin to pray that there is going to be an acceleration like never before. Today, ah, I don't know you, I don't know about you, but I know what I've told God to do. That the Lord will meet with me today. So like you. He's going to meet with you today in the name of Jesus. You are not going back the same way that you came. I can tell you that. Obstacle must go. We must overcome. The Bible says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. Ah, today we must overcome every obstacle. In the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 10 verse 1. He said, in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia. And Daniel 10 verse 13, he says, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia, there are two. The first one is the king of Persia. The second one is the prince of the kingdom of Persia. These are two powers contending. <laughs> there are two powers on the, the king rules on the earth but the prince rules in the heavenlies so you are going to pray this morning we are going to bind all powers that be every power both prince of Persia both the prince whatever they are you know it was the prince that withstood the prayers of Daniel it was the prince so that power must come down our prayers will not be hindered this morning the, the what God is about to do in our life will not be hindered I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray when the prince of Special, when I preach of whatever, it must come down. There is nothing that can withstand the power of God. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Ha! Ah, my name Bragadaba Shanta. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Break down every power. Break down every power. Every power, whatever it is that the enemy has built around, around you, that has that has garaged you, that has kept you in a place. As though you think God is not answering, the Lord is working. Break it down, break it down in the name of Jesus. Matthew 16, 19 says, Whatsoever that you bind on earth is bound in heaven. You have the power God has given us his word in our mouth. He said, Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Bind every principality. Bind every power. Whatsoever it is. Because we overcome our barriers. If you don't speak, nothing will happen. You must take it up and begin to speak. Speak in the name of Jesus. Speak the word of God. Bind everything. Bind everything. Whatsoever we bind on. Whatsoever we lose, is lose in heaven. And so bind it. Also begin to release the blessings of the Lord. In this gathering this morning, we bind the powers of the wicked one. We don't lose the blessings of God in this place because today we shall go back. Different people, full with our testimony, our mouth filled with praise unto Him. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we give you praise, O oh God. We refuse every negative, we refuse every plan of the wicked one. We refuse, ah, Father, every barrenness, every barriers, every sickness, all barriers. Whatever it is that is not of God is a barrier. And so today we come, command it to come down. We command it to come down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of God. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for our mommy this morning. We have thanked God for her. We are going to pray for her. We are going to pray that the Lord will anoint her like never before. Mm. Jeremiah 3.15 says, I will give you pastors according to my heart. That will feed us with knowledge and understanding. God has chosen her. She's a chosen vessel. And so the Lord has endowed her with this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And she's going to dish it out unto us. So let us begin to pray for God's anointing like never before. His grace to be multiplied on her. That even as she stands to minister, the Lord will 
use her like never before. She will speak as the Lord has put in her spirit. She's going to empty herself upon us today. Every word, every word, and every word of prophecy that shall come out from her lips this morning, oh, it shall meet with us. The prophecy of God will come through in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you for the life of your daughter. Lord, we give you praise concerning her. We thank you for your mighty hand upon her life. We thank you for your mighty hand upon her. We thank you for your goodness that surrounds her, oh God. We thank you for your anointing like never before upon her. Father, we ask, oh God, Father, where has a garment this morning? Where has a garment this morning? Every word that you release in her spirit, right? she will speak forth in the name of Jesus. Faithful Father, we give you praise. We bless your name because you are faithful. Hallowed be your name, King of glory. The Bible says it makes all things beautiful in this time. Because we are here, God will make us beautiful. Because we are here to meet with him, it is our time. God will make us beautiful. I can assure you that you're not going back the same way you came. You will never go back except, I don't know if your heart is not in alignment to God. If you have prayed, if you have believed God for something, and you believe, you know that he's going to do it this morning. I want you to begin to pray. That you're not going back the same way. As you have come, the Lord will meet with you. As you have come, you are going with your testimony. That thing that refused to give way must give way. Whatever it is, every barrenness must give way. Every sickness must go. Every disease must go. Whatever it is in your life, in your family, in the lives of your children or your husband, wherever they are, whatever it is that, that is the problem, that has become as though it cannot move, it must give way. There is nothing that can withstand the power of God. There is nothing that can withstand the name of the Lord. And so, I believe that something good is going to take place today in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We commit souls into your hands today. We decree and declare that anything that will stop them from giving their hearts to the Lord today must come down in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, we give you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good and his mercy endures forever. God's been too good to us for us not to praise him. His mercies are new every morning. Now right where you are, right where you are watching from, I want you to praise God from the depth of your heart. I want you to praise God with your family and with your finances. Hallelujah. Love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay.
say thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. The Bible says the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. God is here. Tell your neighbor that God is here. Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise him this morning? We serve a God that reigns forever and ever.
the Lord. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yeah. I've got joy, 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 joy.
joy, joy, overflowing joys, overflowing in our hearts, and we give him the praise. Thank you, precious singers, once again. And good morning, everybody. Good morning, Maz. Good morning. Welcome to April IWPC. Welcome. Are oh, you don't sound excited? Welcome to April IWPC. Hallelujah. God is so faithful to us, and we give him all the glory. He's the one who has literally been with us from January till date. He's worthy of all our praise and adoration. And the theme for this month is overcoming barriers. I don't know how many of you are saying there are things in my life that I need to overcome. Overcoming barriers. There is no barrier, no obstacle in our way that will leave that we would leave the same way, you know, that it, it, we came today. Every stronghold, every barrier will, pu- will, will be pulled down in the mighty name of Jesus. In whatever area, in whatever form, I know and I know that God is here and we're not leaving the same way we have coming. If you have really been paying attention to the IWPC for this year, it's been very prophetic. I mean, I don't know about you. I was thinking about it, and I'm like, this has been so prophetic. It's like we do something, you know, a theme, and we talk around um, a topic, and then in society, it plays out the next, like, month or so. So if you look back, like, I know we had the, he makes all things beautiful, and we looked at families, and then we looked at what, look at what happened in society and what the discourse was just a few weeks after. I know somebody that said, ah, Look at what we talked about in IWPC and look at what happened. And then we did the sharpening your arrows last month and then look at what happened. So I know this is another prophetic IWPC. It's not just ordinary. I know that I know from the depth of my heart that whatever it is that is looking to defy God, there is no way it can defy our God. We are not living here the same way we have come in. Like David said, who is that uncircumcised Philistine that wants to defy the armies of the living God. What is that situation that is going to defy God? There is no situation, no circumstance that can defy our God in the name of Jesus. I welcome you once again and I also want to welcome especially those who are watching online and then we have a a pastor, one of our pastors in Taraba, actually said he was going to get women together so he was going to put transportation on the road and make sure that women were gathered in his church to watch online so please i want you to recognize put your hands together for the pastor in all the way in taraba he says i don't want my women to miss out on what god is doing and so i'm going to put buses on the road and gather them in church to make sure that they are connected there is no excuse so please put your hands together let them know that we love them so much we're so grateful that they're doing that Amen. Welcome to our online audience. Welcome to everyone in the house. I know that a lot of people are going to share their testimonies physically this time because I don't think we took testimonies last month. So I know a lot of people are waiting to share their testimonies um, physically. But please make sure that if you have testimonies and you want us to read it, that you please send it to contact IWPC um, if they can help me through it on the screen. Let me just check so that I make sure that I say it right. Contact IWPC at IWPCNG.com. Contact IWPC at IWPCNG.com. Hallelujah. We're going to go into another session of worship. Worship is how we express our love to God. I heard that this morning, and it really hit me in my heart. There is no love if you don't express it. So we're going to be expressing our love to God this morning. And after that, we're going to hear the voice of our convener. So please rise on your feet as we go into another time of worship and let him know how much we love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come into his presence with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Lift up your hands and begin to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He alone deserves our praises. He deserves our worship. We exalt your name, Jesus. We thank you for the gift of life. Father, we exalt you. We bless you. Begin to give him praise. Begin to tell him how much you love him. Father, we give you praise from the depth of your heart. I want you to begin to tell him how much you love him this morning. Worship God in the beauty of holiness. Let it come from your heart. Let it come from your spirit. Father, without you, we are nothing this morning. We give you praise. We exalt you. Let your worship ascend to heaven this morning. From the depths of your heart, we 
want to say, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Unto your name Lord we bring to you, 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 you A sacrifice of praise With the fruits of our lips Giving thanks unto your name
pastor did when I got the, 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 the text the Rabba pastor is a man he said what is happening in the IWPC he doesn't want his women to miss it he says 10 to uh, 12 so he arranged so right now as we are talking the women and the church let me tell you Anointings are not the same. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There are different anointings. That guy is wise. When I read that, that text, I said, God, you must touch them. You must give them testimony. I pray that other pastors will follow suit. Ah, Bishop, please, I can pray. It's not the same. <laughs> Do you know how many years we've been in this? How many years? The London people came to me last year. Yeah, mommy, we watch online, but we want you. For the past two years, since the pandemic, you've not been to us. We want you. I said, okay, if you want me, do the needful. So by this May, come in May, I'm there. They know what they've gotten and they want more. Maybe because here is every month, we, we neglect it, but I bet you. Uh, let, not, let me not prophesy. Let me keep my mouth shut for this today. So please, please, please make sure. I'm going to do a teaching this morning that we zero into prayers. And that prayer, you will receive a miracle. I know. I know. I know. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Glory to God. Don't ever take the things of God for granted. I beg you, women. I beg you. I beg you. Overcoming barriers. Overcoming barriers. There are barriers in different areas of our life. We need to overcome them. Overcoming barriers. That's our topic for today in IWPC. 
overcoming barriers. Glory to God. There's this song that you sang this morning, Precious Singers. I love you, I love you, Lord. Da 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 da. Da da da. Days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Now 70 years. He's been a faithful father. I can never forget his faithfulness. That is why I'm standing today here. Because he's faithful. I was discussing with, I was having a discussion with a sister in the medical field. And I said to her, that uh, today I'm going to be standing to minister to women and say, Ma, you. I say, yes. The grace of God is sufficient. The grace of God is sufficient. He said, are you going to sit? I said, for today I'm, going to, I'm not going to sit. I'm going to stand. So don't forget to be praying for me. It's very important. The grace of God is what has been keeping me and will continue to keep me in Jesus' name. Spirit of the living God, thank you for this time. Maka yadaba shete yadaba koto. Thank you for today. Thank you because every barrier will be removed in our lives. In the name of Jesus, barrier in different areas of our lives. Today it has got to go. 
Makata, yada, I say it has got to go. I say it has got to go. In the name of Jesus. Hide me behind the cross. Let them not see or hear me. Let them see and hear you. We return every glory, every honor, and every adoration back to you. And all the sisters, online, on site, a better amen. amen. Glory to God. Overcoming barriers. I'm going to take my text from Mark chapter number 10. I told you I'm going to take it very easy so that we'll all go together. We'll all be on the same page. Mark 10. Very interesting story. Mark 10, I read from verse number 45 to 52. Mark 10, 45, very popular scripture, to 52. Are you there? If you are there, say, I am there. If you are still searching, say, wait for me. Okay, let's go. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho with his disciples. And a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timus, sat by the highway begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And when they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith had done what made you whole. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. Overcoming barriers. Overcoming barriers. When we talk about barrier, what are we talking about? When we talk about barrier or barriers, what are we actually talking about? We are talking about anything that built or serving to bar passage, like a fence. A fence is a barrier. Any obstacle is a barrier. Anything that restrains or obstructs progress and access is a barrier. A limit or boundary of any kind it's a barrier. Bro barricade or blockade is a barrier. Huddle or roadblock is also a barrier. Barrier can be either physical or spiritual. It can be either physical or spiritual. Whatever tends to stop you from attending what God has planned for you is a barrier. It's a barrier. And you must not tolerate it. I say you must not tolerate it. Did you hear me say something? What did I say? Repeat what I said. You must not tolerate it. In our text where well, I've just read, we know the story about blind Bartimaeus. 
His barrier was blindness. He was blind. Yours may not be blindness. You could be in any area, any area of your, of your life. You could be in business, you could be in finance, marital, you could be in your health. It could be in career. I can go on and on. But what I'm talking about this morning is we must remove it. Whatever it is, I believe that what we will share from this morning, the text we just read will help you in that situation. You're not going to go the same way you had come. Enough is enough. Shakataya da bakoto. I say enough is what? Enough. enough. Blindness is a major hindrance to attending God's ordained destiny. If you can't see, you cannot do much. You can't attend God's destiny for your life. You can't. It's a major hindrance. There are so many things we can talk about blindness as a barrier, but time will not permit us this morning. I'm talking about overcoming barrier. Let me today focus on how the barrier of blind Bartimaeus was broken. That's where I want to focus today. How it was broken. One, even though blind Bartimaeus was blind, he had his ears wide open. He had his ears wide open. If you read verses 45 to 46, 45 to 46 of that scripture. 45, 45 to 46 of that mark. This, and even the Son of God did not come to be served, but to serve and to give uh, his life at ransom for many. Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timus sat on the road begging. One. His eyes was blind, but his mouth was open. What are you listening to? That's what I want to ask you this morning. What are you listening to? Bartimaeus was able to know that Jesus and the crowd were passing through. He was able to know that. That Jesus and the crowd were passing through the highway. That highway is where he will always stay to beg. But he didn't miss it because his ears were open. He heard the noise of the crowd. Are you hearing me? He heard, the noise, he heard the noise of the crowd saying different things around him and he made a wise choice. He made a wise choice. He made a wise choice. Two, he heard also that it was Jesus who came to say, serve and not to be, who came to serve and not to be served. You can see that in Matt. Matthew 20, 28, that was passing by. He heard it was Jesus that was passing by. He understood that Jesus was for everybody, not for a particular set of people, for everyone. He understood that. No matter your status, your condition, your class in life, he came to help everyone. Jesus is here today to help you. Did you hear? Did you hear me say something? So refuse 
to listen to any type of negative. Any negative thing they are talking about, any negative word about yourself, refuse it. Refuse it. Today my change will come. I know by whom I, I, I speak and I have prayed. <laughs> I know that God will do incredible things today. Can I hear an amen? Three, he refused to let the opportunity pass him by without taking advantage. He refused the opportunity to pass him by. You know, some of us, when we come to church, we are just looking around. Oh, what, was, what is the uh, bishop piece wearing? What is this person wearing? This is not the time for it. He refused without taking advantage of it. He began to cry out. He had the noise. He began to cry out and say, Mercy! Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy. Jesus, I'm not coming because I deserve anything from you. Let your loving kindness speak on my behalf. Have mercy. I've been in this condition for too long. Have mercy. I believe that today God will have mercy. I believe it with all my heart. He will have mercy. He will. Thou son of David, have mercy. Don't pass me by. Have mercy. Number four. Give me verse 48. Then many warned him to be quiet. But he cried out the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. He cried out the more. I came to challenge you this morning. Refuse to be refused. Refuse to be refused. This is your moment. Your moment has come. I say your moment has come. I say your moment has come. What has been bugging you over the time? Ends today. Okay, yada basata yada basheti. I don't care what the barrier is. It must come down. The kingdom of God suffered violence. The violent one will take it by force. That barrier. Unless you want to take it home yourself. But if you don't want to take it home, I promise you it must come down. Amen. I say it must come down. Amen. I say it must come down. Amen. Many try to stop him from where we read. They say, keep quiet. Keep quiet. They try to stop him achieving his goal. But what did he do? He cried the more. The Bible says he he cried the more. He cried the more. He cried louder. Louder. He said, I may be blind, but I have my mouth to cry out. I may be blind, I may not see what is happening, but I have my mouth. Makata yada bashete yada. I have my mouth. You can't close my mouth. I have my mouth to cry out. Never tolerate anything that wants to stop you. Don't ever. We say this is a year of speed. Anything that wants to stop your speed, never tolerate it. Say no to it. There's so many things I've tolerated. I've, I've refused these few days, and I have the answer. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you refuse it, God will refuse it. 
The Bible says he cried the man, he cried out a great deal because he believed that it is possible. He believed it is possible. I want to tell you, sis, that it is possible. That situation is possible to change. It's possible. It's possible for you to be healed in the house now. Today, that sickness has got to go. A few, few days ago, I can't stand like this. But I refused. I say I refused. I say I did what? I if you are, if you accept it, it's left for you. But I refused. I said today I'm going to stand. Devil, hear me. I'm going to stand. And you can't do anything about it. Am I not standing? The Bible says, haven't done all to stand. Do what? Yeah. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Hallelujah. Mark 9, 23 says, all things are possible. Are you a believer? Yeah. Let somebody say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. If you're a believer, everything is possible. Yeah. Everything. Dare you to believe God today. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let... If you notice that your, your, your sister close to you is talking, just move. Tell the person, excuse me, not today. Because by next month, we'll start having more testimony. I know. I say I know. Five, give me 49. 49, thank you. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying, Be of good cheer. Those people are those people that are telling him to shut up. When your testimony comes, they will, they, will, they will follow you to rejoice. Say, Be of good cheer. Rise. He is calling you. He's calling you. Jesus is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Hebrew 4, 15. Jesus stood still for him and called him. Jesus is passing your way today. Are you hearing me? You will not remain like this the end, till the end of this year. You cannot. He's passing by you today and he is here for you. Let somebody say, Jesus is here for me. It's for me. Depends on what you believe. It depends on what you accept. It's here for you. Number six, give me 50. Thank you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. Faith is a fact and faith is an act. Faith is a fact and faith is an act. Notice that he threw away his begging garment because he knew he's not going to go back there begging anymore. He knew that. He knew that. He knew he will never go begging again. Let me tell you this morning, you cannot have an encounter with Jesus today and remain the same. You cannot. It's impossible. If there's any English like that, just take it from me. Makata, you cannot have an encounter with God today and that sickness will still remain in your body. You cannot have an encounter with him today and you will still remain the way you are. You, it is not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. Give me 51 out of 52. Seven. And Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you, to you? <laughs> He's going to ask you the same question this morning. The blind man said to him, Rabbi, that I may receive my sight. 
Then Jesus said to him, Go thy way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. What I'm telling you is that he knew exactly what he wanted. Do you know what you want this morning? He didn't say, um, um, he knew exactly what he wanted. He said, my, my eyes is blind, I want to see. Because I'm going to ask you the same question today. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? He knew exactly what he wanted. And he demanded it. He got what he wanted. He was made whole immediately. The barriers was immediately removed. Immediately. It was removed. It was removed. What do you desire, sister? Online audience, what do you want? Our God is a faithful God. You will see somebody here today or on, on, online who will receive what the person wants today, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. What do you want? There's nothing impossible with God. You think it's impossible. It's not impossible. What do you want? Ask, I'm asking you the same question. You can't be coming to IWTPC and you don't have anything you want. You can't. What do you want? Hey, Bishop, this is not possible. He said, who told you? My Bible tells me that with God, all things are possible. What do you want? Is it in your business? You can receive it today. What do you want? Is it in your career? It is possible. What do you want? Is it in your health? You go home made whole today. What do you want? Any area. I'm asking you, sister, what do you want? In this house, we are going to have instant testimonies. Look, I, I'm, I'm not with you. I say I'm not with you. Amen. Amen. It shows that you don't even believe it. I said today, in this house, you're going to have instant testimony. Let us know the God we are talking about. He's the Alpha. Taraba people, I want to hear testimony from any of you. Any online people, better send out your testimony because after we have prayed and I will pray, things will change. Amen. I say it 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 will change. Amen. What has never happened to you in life? Hey, get ready. This is the time. I said, get ready. This is the time. You didn't come to IWTC today to waste your time. Came for God to touch you. Hebrews 13 it says, This God, Jesus, is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. Jesus is here. Can you dare tell him what you want? Daka, Daka, Dako, Toko, Beke, Teke. I told you few, two days ago, I told him I want to come and stand here. I didn't negotiate it. I said, Lord, that's what I want. Did he give it to me? Yes. All my life. Everyone standing. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so
after me is running after me. Hey, your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running. I want you to take a step of faith. Step out. Present in the house. What do you want? I can't tell you what you want. You have to tell him. Blind Betimos said that I might receive my sight. The Bible said he gave it to him. That barrier was removed. What do you want? Which barrier do you want to be removed? It doesn't matter whether the barrier has been there 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, it doesn't matter. But today, I came and I say under this anointing that that barrier must be removed. What do you want? What do you want? Open your mouth and talk to him. Pray in the prayer language of the Spirit. Kapata yadaba. He kapata yadaba shata. He kapapa papa para papa pa. Kapapa para bashata yadaba. Open your mouth. He said, Blind Bethlehem shouted the more. The Bible said he shouted louder. What do you want? Are you not tired of the same situation? I am tired. I want my perfect health. Those online, you can take your healing now. In any area, I'm tired of being single. I am tired of not having a baby. I am tired. I am tired. Nobody will pray for you. You have to demand it yourself. I am tired of not having food on my table. I am tired. My business is falling. I am tired. My career, I am tired of being on the same spot. I am tired. Makata yada baba bada ba shata yada baba. In the office, I'm tired of being on the same spot. Shakata yada baba ba. Hikapata yada baba. Kokoto yada baba ba. Kapapa para baba ba. Kapapa. Push it. 
Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Blind Bartimaeus shouted, What do you want? Shout it out. That barrier must live today. That barrier, that barrier, that barrier, that barrier, it must end today. I said that barrier, the pain all over must cease today. Any disease, any any disease, I curse you. You must come down. Enough is enough. Pain in my head, in my eyes, in my body. Arthritis, you must go. Sickness must go. Disease must go. Sugar diabetes, you must go. I say you must go. Shaka ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Kada ba da ba kata ya da ba 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 ba. Kakata ya da ba 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 ba. Open your mouth and take your miracle. Open your mouth. That barrier must leave today. I didn't say tomorrow. Today. Cancer, you must go. Cancer, you must go. Cancer, you must go. Push that prayer, kapata, kekepete, kokoto bokoto, kada ba ba ba. Push it. Enough is enough for the devil. Your change is here. Jesus is in the house. Your change is here. Your change is here. Your change is here. The Bible said he went out. Seen. You must go out to them, make every with hope. Cry out! Enough is enough. I will not die but live to declare the works of God. I will not die but live to declare. I will not die but live to declare the works of God. Yeah. 
In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Barriers. Today. I command you to be removed now. I said now. In their health, go now. In their family, go now. In their children, go now. In their career, go now. In their business, uh, yeah, go now. Anything that has been a barrier in your life. Today, under this anointing of the Holy Spirit, it comes to an end. I say it comes to an end. I say it comes to an end. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. A change must take place in your life. Uh -uh. Our God answers prayers. I declare those of you that are sick in the house I declare total healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet receive healing now I say now I say now I say now in the name of Jesus those of you that have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb it's a barrier Under this anointing, barrenness ends today. I don't care what they call it. I say it ends today. Those of you that your barrier is, how can a young lady, beautifully looking, will remain? No husband, it's a lie. I say it's a lie. Because that singlehood, it ends today. Yeah. We will soon hear your testimony. Yeah. Ah. Father, we want an instant testimony. I say we want an instant testimony. Father, we want an instant testimony. In the name that's above every name. I release it now. 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 More coming to IWPC and going as if nothing happened. The devil cannot kill you. I want to tell somebody here you're unkillable. Sickness will not kill you, disease will not kill you, pain will not kill you, and you will not bury your children. house 
do the impossible. Online, receive miracle now. Taraba Church, receive a miracle now. In the name of Jesus. I hear the Holy Spirit say, give him seven hallelujah. If I tell you it is done, will you believe me? Yeah. We are going to see some Tommy. Yeah. We are going to see some wedding. Yeah. We are going to see some parents. Yeah. We are going to see good business. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a shout! happy for you. I say I am happy for you. Quietly go back. Dance back. Dance back. Dance back. Dance back. on the 21st of May. You can pay your way. We'll wait for you. <laughs> okay, let's take uh, Covenant Partners. I'm so happy I'm in a Papa on Sunday. Healing in the house. Lift up, lift up, lift up your, your, your covenant partner's spirit. Mercy is you. Love is you. Those of you online, if God has taught you, send us your testimony immediately, we'll read it. Those of you in Taraba Church, do the same. Father, thank you. Thank you. You are a covenant, part, a covenant keeper. Your covenant you will not break, not allow us to go without. You will always keep covenant with us. You will always keep covenant. I'm sorry for those of you that are not covenant partners. Because most of the time when something is holding me, I say, God of covenant, remember me. And he just does it. Father, thank you for always keeping covenant with us. We return every glory, every honor, and every adoration back to you. These ones who shall live, we shall not die. The devil can never kill us. In Jesus' name. Ismail, 
your testimony. I want to take your testimony now. Now. Give a microphone. You see, what I'm telling you is that God is no respecter of persons. Praise the Lord. I've had issues with my eyes for a while. After the prayers, I was blinking and looking, and I see that it's it's no more. It's I can. It's it's no more. It's everything is clear. I'm healed permanently in the name of Jesus. How many of you know that this is a heavy woman of God? Thank God. For God is done is permanent. It will not affliction will not come a second time. Let me touch you. Or oh, when I come there, oh, oh come. Forever. Total healing. I say total in Jesus' name. What a God! 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 What Is that Regina? Yes. This, this thing that we wear on our faces. It just disfigures us. I know you are the one now. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. I literally, this morning, I remembered a pain that had persisted for two weeks on my leg. And I just laid down. As I, I put my hand in the morning. I said, God, I'm going to prayer school. And I don't want to come back with this pain. When I, I had come out for prayers, but it wasn't on my prayer point. And so when you mentioned it, and I went there and I touched. It's been there for more than three or four weeks and very painful. And I'm just looking, it's just the mark and the pain is gone. I have prayed. Let somebody give the Lord a big shout. Come sweetheart, can you climb? Let me touch you. Permanent healing. It will not return back again. Amen. Somebody's online. Come on. Let's hear. It's actually Taraba. <laughs> Taraba. Okay. Um, Celebrate Taraba Church. And well, that's it on the screen. So uh, this is actually a brother who is in Taraba. Brother Emma. He came to church with a lot of pains in his body. And while you were praying, he received his healing. So we give God praise for that. Amen. No more pain. I say you are free. I'm free indeed. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was trying to be sure. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the past one month, I've been having pain with this hand. I could even today I couldn't lift it up to worship very well. But as I sat down there, I said, okay, let me just check. I didn't even put it on my prayer point. And I don't feel like I can roll it around and lift it up. Surprise. Totally made whole. It will not return back again. 
my darling, in the name of Jesus. What God has done is permanent. Can I hear a big amen? amen. They are even saying it's not in their prayer point. What a God. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been checking this hand because I don't want to lie. For the past how many months? About six months. This hand, I laid on it and I can't raise it. I can't lift something. Sometimes the bone will shift. So as I went there, I lifted my hands. I still felt the pain. But right now, I lifted it. I lifted it. I lifted it. I lifted it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is healing in the house. Woman of God, come. Let me. What a God. What a God. What a God. What a God. I've been having this chronic ulcer that brings serious stomach pains and it started again when big mommy asked us to come out and she started praying she actually went I was actually throwing up but afterwards the stomach pain subsided and she knows that it's permanent in the name of Jesus it's permanent in the name of Jesus amen. can I hear better amen? amen the Lord came to the house he's still doing some wonderful things if you're pregnant, step forward. What a God. What a God. What a God. You are. What a God. 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 Believing God for the fruit of the womb for years now, and you have already given up. The Lord said, I should tell you today, He has not forgotten you. Yeah. I can see some of you. If I want to start pointing, but I don't want to do that. You say, He hasn't forgotten you. You will see it happen. Speedily, what? Yeah. I say speedily. Yeah. I say speedily. Yeah. And those that have laughed at you will laugh with you. Yeah. Father, thank you. Is that Georgie? Good to see you. Rev Pastor, Reverend. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because your blessing makes rich and does not ask sorrow. There shall be no sorrow added to this. They will carry these children to ten. We will hear the voice of the mother and the cry of the baby. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I cover them in the blood of Jesus. These children will come to IWPC amen. and glorify your name. And everybody says an amen. amen. A louder amen. amen. The loudest amen. amen. So shall it be. What a God. What a God. What a God, what a God, what a God you are. What a God, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God you are. 
Receive Jesus as my personal savior. I don't know Jesus. I've not confessed him. I've not received him into my life. Is there anyone like that here? If there is, let the person come forward now. Anyone? I've not received Jesus. I've not confessed Jesus as my Lord and personal savior. Is there anyone? Turn to the person on your left or your right and say, are you sure you are born again? Okay. Mercy is you. Mercy is you. Love is you. What a God is. Help is you. Help is you. Those online staff continue to send your What you used to give him. If you used to give him 1,000, make it 2,000. If you used to give him 2,000, make it 3,000. If you used to give him 3,000, make it 5. I know what God told me this before I, I put my own Indian envelope. He said, Bishop Peace, don't take what you used to take for IWPC. I didn't even know what he was about to do, but I obeyed him. I want you to obey. Okay, take your offering. Come on, we are taking offering now. Take your offering. If you take your offering, stand on your feet. Don't give him what you used to give him. Online, we have an account number there. Increase the offering. That's what I'm saying. In effect. Do you know that those barriers are taken off? They are removed. Thank him. Thank him for it. Thank him for it. You know, get offering. Give me my... Okay, stand up now. Lift it up high before him. Father, if you needed money, you will not ask us. You give seed to the soul and bread to the eater. We have lifted up this offering. Our pockets will never go empty. Amen. We will not lack. Amen. There is money in this nation and it will get to us. Amen. We will not further go without. Increase us on every side. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, rejoice. Hallelujah. Chuku ibu gemado, ibu chuku ibu gemado. Somebody help me sing, ibu chuku.
Can we give him a wave offering and say thank you, Jesus? I'm so excited today. God healed me. Wow. Hey, you don't understand. I am so excited. I'm healed, healed, and healed, and healed.
somebody say, let's do it again. Ah, women, I'm not hearing you. Let's do it again. Let me read this scripture to us, please. Luke chapter 8. Please listen, please. Verse 1 to 4. And it came to pass that Jesus went throughout every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women, somebody says certain women. If you don't answer me, I won't leave this place. Okay. Which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Baglalin, out of whom seven devils went. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's daughter, and Susanna, and many others ministered unto him of their substance. Jesus went on a tour from city to city, from village to village. That's what we just saw there. Big mommy going from Anambra to Abuja to Lagos to Ibadan to the UK. Doing what? Holiday? Eating burger? Sleeping and waking? No, this woman of almost 70, fasting and praying, going to places to preach the glad tidings of the kingdom. Now, the Bible says the twelve were with him. Those twelve were men, no. Abi, is there any woman among the twelve? Women, please talk to me, please. So, those men were doing their own. They were following Jesus up and down. But certain women, these women, there are two things about them. They had been blessed by the ministry of Jesus. They've been healed. They've been delivered. Devils have left them. And they were blessed women. They said, look, Jesus, as you go about from village to village, from city to city, we will be ministering to you of our substance. I like the way it is put in NLT. NLT. The Bible says, and they gave to him of their resources. Women, me, God healed me today. You don't understand. Sometimes I have to just be blinking and blinking because of the pain in my eyes. I can see clearly my, no pains. So why will I not support the work? How many of us here will say, I've not been blessed by the ministry of Big Mommy? Lift your hand, let me see. Then we'll pray for you today. Okay. How many of us have been blessed by the ministry of Big Mommy? Please look around and see who is not lifting a hand. Let's see. Even online. The Bible, the Bible mentioned this woman. The reason why they ministered unto him is because they've been touched. They've been healed. They've been delivered. Devils have left them and they said, eh, eh, eh. We cannot just be chopping, 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 chopping. We must be a part of what is making this to happen. So as he travels from village to village, Jesus, don't even worry about money. Don't worry about how you will sponsor the gospel. We, we are blessed. We will minister to you of our substance. Big mommy is going to be 70. And she already told us that after 70, she wants to do more empowerment. That's all she wants. That's all she wants to do. For the rest of our life. Now many of us cannot go to where she's going. But our money can go. Is that okay? Our substance can go. That's why we are provoking us to these good works. Mommy is not looking for money to eat or to wear clothes or to ride the car or to go on holiday. She wants this money for the purpose of the gospel. Just like Jesus Christ. That's why I want to challenge us women. We've been talking about this thing for the past two months. We want to put good money together for mommy's 70th birthday, not for party, but for empowerment, for the preaching of the gospel, for many, many more robot homes all over the world. That's what we want. And I want to provoke us today. In fact, after what God did for me today, I have told myself I'm going to do more because I want to be a wise woman. Look at these women, their names are mentioned. Will your name be mentioned? Ah, I said, will your name be mentioned? Our names will be mentioned. My name will be mentioned. Your name will be mentioned. Please, let's put our resources together and cause Big Mommy to go to more places and win more souls and preach the glad tidings of the kingdom. These are women. They are not men, no. They are not men. They are women. So women, let's leave the men to be doing their thing. Let us do our own. Is that okay? So I've come to provoke us again humbly this morning. The account details is going to be on the screen. Between last month and between uh, February, March, and this month, nothing has come in as far as I'm concerned. 
nothing. Nothing. What we have there cannot even buy one drum of diesel to power programs. Talk less of sending mommy to places. Please, women, let's do something. We cannot just be receiving these blessings and just eating it and going like that. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not right. I'm not a motivational speaker, but I've come to provoke you to good works. So look at the account details. Please write it down. June is just next month, right? We have May. May is this month. June is the next month. So we have to put everything together. How many of us know that we can do it? Eh? We can do it. If we put 100 million down for Big Mommy to travel, is it too much? What are we talking about? 100 million is even nothing. Eh? Well, mommy told us today that the, the blind Bartimaeus knew what he wanted and he believed he could get it and he got it. We can get it, can't we? Praise the Lord. So let's, let's put all our resources together. Please write down that account details and send in something. Something good. Don't put peanuts. Just do your best. Your best, sacrificially. And I can assure you, as the gospel is going from place to place, God will bless you as well. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear that, amen. I said God will bless you as well. In the name of Jesus. So should I expect you to send this? Well, who is going to answer me and do something within this month of me? Lift your hand, just wave at me. Hey, hey, thank you, precious women. I just love you all. Thank you. Those of you whose hands are not up, I know that you will do something. So that by the time mommy celebrates her 70th, she will have something to work with for a while. And then more will continue to come and come and come in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And please, let's rise up. I want us to also pray for Big Mommy one minute. Can we stand, please? Somebody is not a joke. Eh? Some of us, we, are, we can't stand up for 10 minutes. You sit down. Big Mommy stood up there for one hour at age 70. Ah. Hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our Big Mommy. We thank you for her life. Just like those women appreciated the work, the great work that Jesus was doing, traveling from place to place. We appreciate you for great work you are doing through your daughter. And we say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Together we have come to say, Lord, that you will strengthen her. You will increase your grace upon her life. She has just started. She will do more. Caleb said at 85, I am strong as I was at 40. And he did so much great exploits, even in the end of his life. Lord, we ask that as mommy's clock 70, just as we are counting down in days, you will multiply her days. As her days are, so shall her strength be. She will not be weak, she will not be sick. She will not be weary in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray that all of us, her daughters, her precious women, who have benefited from the ministry in her life, you will help us to be able to plow back to her so that the work will continue. Just like these named women in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says you give seed to the sower, you, breed, you give bread to the eater. We have come before you today to say we are going to be sowers. Give us seed to sow. Bless us to be able to give to this work in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you. Please pray for big mommy every day. Let's, let's keep praying for her. And as you are praying, also be sending money. <laughs> Amen. I didn't want to say anything. But I wonder. I wonder why. I wonder. Why they are begging you? I wonder. I wonder. IWPC, over how many years? It's my first, apart from Pastor of Headquarters, my first constituency. I wonder why they are begging you. My woman of God, after my bad day, I want the list. After my birthday, give me the list of the people that honored me. I won't say much now. 
But after my bad day, give me the list. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I think B Mommy has said it all. Because last, uh, last month, a sister asked, he said, um, this is my second time in the IWPC. He said, if I, give, if I give my mom money, that was the way, exactly what she said to me. Said, if I give my mom money, uh, how mama will know that I give her money? That was what she asked me. I said, how mama going to know say I give her money? How mama going to know say, so that if mama can pray for me? I just laugh, I smile, I say, I said, sister, I said, don't worry. I said, when you sent your money, I said, you see, every board that paid money into that account, you know, in a 65 bad day, everyone that paid money into that account, we collected the statement of account, she got it, and she prayed over and over again for everyone. And that's why I said, I said today, when I saw my name that I'm going to call mama, I said, let me just buy from what that woman said last, uh, last month. For everyone that paid into that account, let me tell you, what she did in, when she clocked 65, this is 70 we are talking about. She's going to get every report and she's going to pray for everyone. I just want to encourage you. Don't say, if I give, mama will not know that I am the one. Your name will appear there. Is somebody hearing me? We will get the statement of account and she's going to pray for each and every one of you. Can you say amen to that? Do you believe in our prayers? Of course, you just have to believe in our prayers. Because I was just, let me, let me just share a short testimony. Sometimes ago, I traveled abroad and I just went for a checkup. And what they told me when I got there was that you have cataract, you have glaucoma, you have this, you have that, everything about your eyes. It was as and the next thing the doctor we said to me, he said, and he just went in and came back. He said, see that, are you ready for operation? Ah. I said, just like that? Operation, is that how they do operation here? I said, no, I'm not ready for operation. I'm going back to where I'm coming from. <laughs> I, no, I'm not ready for it. I didn't prepare. Just, just for checkup, I just called call my mommy. I said, look at what the doctor said. He said, Bola, did you not hear my own testimony? And he just prayed for me. He said, did you not hear my own testimony? Just key into that. The God that healed my own two eyes, it will heal your own. I just carry my bag as usual. I run away. I came back to Nigeria. And do you know, when I came back, she just pumping faith into me. Bola, you cannot go blind. It is not possible. And I just went a few days ago. I just went to see doctor. He said, come and do scan. I went to scan. They said, no, nothing like that. Too. That report, God changes. This is the same woman. Like we said this morning, how can she pray for us and minister to us? And in return, we don't need to beg anybody. Because she's not looking for money to eat. She's not looking for money to buy clothes. God has blessed her. But to do this impact, to make a formidable impact in our own world, for our own generation, we just need to support her. Even we are not doing it's not for party. It is just for us to go ahead, to continue, to join and with her to continue this project that he's doing. Is somebody hearing me? Praise the Lord. And at 70, did you see the way she's looking? Did you see the way she's looking? I don't I say celebrate her for me this morning. Celebrate her, celebrate her. Look at how she's look at how she's glowing. Ah, the glory is shining. Ah, praise the Lord. I say, when I grow up like big mommy, I will look like her. Ah. I don't, how many of you want to look like her when you are 70? Oh, praise the Lord. How many, are, how many of you are worshiping with us for the first time in our WPC? Today is your first time. This is your first time. You are coming to IWPC. Can I see you? Can I see your hands up? You are coming for the first time. Can you come forward? Can you come forward? Can you come forward? Celebrate them for me. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate the people that are coming for the first time. It is not an accident you are here this morning. God brought you here for a purpose. And I'm sure you are blessed. You stood by me. I saw the way you are praying. I saw the way you are praying. You stood by my side. Do you know that God has answered that prayers? Just celebrate them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. I just tell you, you have just had our mommy just minister to us this morning. That is our convener. It's the one that God has given this, uh, 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 this IWPC. This mission, God has committed this to our hand. And for, 
how many years? For how many, over three decades now. Every last Thursday, this is what we enjoy here. We celebrate Jesus. We, we are happy people. You see women rejoicing. You see our precious singer. You see the glory shining. And the glory has started shining in your life. This is International Women Prayer Conference. This is where women gather together. You know, when women pray, something happens. People have been getting, you have heard my own testimony now. If I give everybody microphone here, you will, mind-blowing testimonies. The baron has been giving birth in this ministry, this commission. People have been married. 60 years, got married. Over 50 years, gave birth. It is your turn. You are here this morning. I don't know what you have come for. You have that, I mean, overcoming barriers is what you have had this morning. Every barrier in your life is already gone. It's already broken because the woman of God has prayed. Even when you see her face, when she smiles on you, your problems are over. She so will continue to come and come again. You are yelling about June. We are going to celebrate her. 78. Look at the way she's, you want to be like her too? Just turn your face around to her. Just turn your face to her. Turn your face. You see her smiling. Just see, you see, by the time you grow up like her, I mean, you will also be looking good like this. So you are welcome once, welcome twice, and welcome a million times. I celebrate you. And as usual, she has a gift for you. He's a woman with a large heart. When you come to the house of God, she wants to bless you. So just turn and you see the gift that he has given to you. Read that praise report over and over again. Whatever that is applied to you there, just key into it and it is done in your life. Celebrate them for me one more time. And look at the gift that he has given to you. Put your hands to, put a beautiful smile on your face this morning. You are, we are happy people. Congregation, let's celebrate our mommy one more time. Thank you for listening to the Holy Spirit. Being a blessing to your generation. Being a blessing to your world. We will celebrate you. Whether the devil like it or we will celebrate you. We are unstoppable. Women, are you hearing me? We are unstable. We are unstoppable. If you agree, rise up on your feet and celebrate her one more time. We are already in the mood of celebration. 78 birthday. It's around. It's around. Let's celebrate her one more time. God bless you. Love you all. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm excited today. Because God has started to do a new thing. And it will get to you. 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 Glory to God. Testimony time. There's so much anointing. There's so much presence. There's so much presence in this place today. So much presence. So much presence. Those of you online, Taraba, continue to send your testimony. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, last time we came out and we couldn't testify mommy said we'll, give, we'll have double another testimony and that's exactly what God did but let me start with the first testimony and that was about my first son that get, got married in the United States last month um, mommy I never believed that after COVID and what we went through in the US we can have that number of gathering and people representing both from the in-law side and our side. It was packed. Mommy was beautiful. The money, what people did. Mommy, before I got to the U.S., the church where I worship, the women gathered themselves, tagged themselves, contributed $5,000 for me to use to add to whatever we're doing. People blessed us beyond measure. They blessed my son. Some gave him 3,000, some 5,000. Cash, not story, as gift. Everything they put online, people paid for them and delivered to them. It was amazing. Mommy, I didn't know that's how God would favor us. 
to Destin that at the wedding proper, because we, did, we had the traditional on a Thursday, and then on Saturday was the wedding. On the wedding proper, the white people, the attendants, they were carrying food and dancing our African music to, to share. It was amazing. So God took his glory, not because we deserve it, but because he's faithful. And, and I came back full, not empty. And mommy, thank you for your prayers. I, saw, you I saw it. You sent it to me. You sent me the listen. It was it's, awesome. She's not lying. She's not making it up. It is real. That's exactly what happened. Mommy, the second testimony, I texted you last week that my husband is around and we're supposed to go to the village because our house in the village, we'll be building it for like 17 years running. You know, when you're not there, you send money, they will do whatever they like for you. You come back, you start building again. That has been the case for 17 years. So when we got back, I told him, let's take first flight so that whatever work we need to do, because I'm going to sleep in that house, I'm not sleeping in anybody's house. So that's what we did. When we got there, we saw the state of the house, he said, uh, we'll go and sleep in the senior brother's house. I said, it's not happening. So I told my siblings to come from wherever they are. All the young boys, about five of them from my village, they came before we got there. We started work on the house, cleaned up the whole house. They washed, brushed, everything. Toilet. The house is fixed, beautiful mommy, really beautiful. Story building with a penthouse, but beautiful. So we did everything. After they finished cleaning, we went to the market, bought foam that we sleep on, bought fan. They stole the gas we left in the house that we used last time we came, and then we bought another one. So we were able to take possession, because I said never again would I go home and sleep in anybody's house when I have such a house like this. Whatever it takes, even if it means me and my kids finishing it up, if my husband is tired, we're going to do it. And mommy, God, God surprised me with what he did with the help and the favor we found. And what I've been pursuing since I came that keeps me coming up and down, I was able to meet it, because I had a meeting with some clients that I'm expecting something from. That, met, that meeting was scheduled on Tuesday at Oweri. My other partner flew in there. We met with them there, executed everything with the bank, and so we're now waiting for the contract to come, which I know God has perfected. So, mommy, I finished that, and I said, I must be in this prayer school. Nothing will make me not to come back here today to give this testimony. And I flew in last night. And to the glory of God, mommy, it's only God. I, I had a scripture, if I can quickly read it, which the Lord gave me this morning. It's uh, Romans chapter 8, 16 and 17. It says, The Spirit himself beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If not... If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified with him. And if you're a child of God, don't give up whatever it is that you're trusting God for. Challenges will come. People will, abuse, will even give you names that are not your name. But so long as you know God is faithful and you love him and you trust him, he's always coming through. I cannot explain what God is doing, but I know he's faithful. To him alone be all the glory. In Father, we thank you. A whole 17 years, but it is done. Father, thank you for your daughter. <laughs> thank you for your daughter. Thank you for the son that went there. Thank you for provision. And thank you, she prophesied she was going to sleep in her house, and it happened. I bless you. Thank you for the business. It's already done, perfected in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God. Um, Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, doing? Mass. I want to bless God for two things. Um, I, what, I started a business. I returned back to Lagos in 2019. Big Mommy, I came to you. I know. And I told you. I started on a plot of land which I borrowed. You know, my younger sister asked me, go and use my land in Mowe and... So the moment I started it, that 2019 December, Big Daddy made a declaration. She said in 2020 that um, 
some of us are going to be getting properties on a platter of gold. So I just took those prophecies. And then before I came for that crossover, I had a personal retreat. And most of the things Big Daddy ministered, God spoke it to me. And the good thing was that before we came that day, I came out of my retreat and I shared it with my siblings. My younger sister, Oluma, stopped me at a point and recorded all those things. So when we came to church, it was like, it was the same thing that the Holy Spirit ministered to me, a big daddy ministered, you know. So in 20, 2020, 20, that year, 2020 came up and we started. And funny enough, I just spoke to somebody. I want the land. By faith, I didn't have any money in my account. I just told him by faith. And before April that year, the person came back to me and said, there's an acre of land that's, you know, somebody wants to sell and all that. <laughs> and I, li I listened to him. <laughs> the price was ridiculously low compared to what they were selling land in that place. And immediately that thing came up, I remembered Big Daddy's declaration and I took it up. I had three installments to pay the money. I had my rent that I was saving up. So I took a chunk of that rent and dropped it by faith. And then after some months, I paid the second one. Then my father took ill. Hallelujah. The testimony is that this person selling the land, the person I bought the land from, he told me that he has never done what he did before. And then, you know, I delayed in the payment of the money and all that. Then last year, they called me, you know how these are money, yeah, they do their things. They called and said, eh, I had money. I was the one that called them that I want to balance up. They said, no, we are not collecting that money again. Land in that place has skyrocketed and all that. But the testimony is that there's this 5.30 a.m. prayer we do with my pastor, Pastor Tunde. We do it with young people every 5.30 till date. We, we pray together with the young people. So that morning, Reverend Tunde, we finished praying. And he began to say... What she called my name and said, Sister Tochi, what God has given to you, nobody will take it from you. Hallelujah. So that same morning was when I got this call. When I called them, I wanted to pay, and they said, No, we are not collecting except you will agree or we return your money back to you. And I just remembered the declaration that morning from my pastor, and I just went ahead. I paid the money and I told them, No problem. To the glory of God, I have paid that money plus the one they added. At the end of this month, I'm balancing them just a hundred thousand naira to the glory of God. Hallelujah. That in less than three years of returning back to Lagos, I have an acre an of land acre of for land. my business. That's be six God. plots of land. I want to give God praise for that. Then secondly, I brought my son here last week, um, last month, IWPC. And um, I, told, I brought him for Big Mommy to pray for him. My son, I have a testimony that since I gave birth to my two children, I've never slept in the hospital with them. That's the favor that God has blessed me with, with the children. Because I know it's not by how much money or how much, you know. But for the past two or three years, the devil just began to attack my son. And the funny thing is that the, the ailments they are giving to a young boy of 16 years are ailments of adults. You know, shortly after my dad passed off, and it, it was as if it was yearly. So this year, I told my children, I said, we're going to fight this. So for some nights, I will wake them in the midnight, we will pray together. Sometimes the same person that has, that has the issue will grumble, but I'll say, we are praying. You know, until Pastor Uche asked me one Sunday in church. Because my son is, you will easily notice him in YPC. He's in the engineering department. So for some time, Reverend Uche didn't see him. So she said, where is your son? So I had to tell her, said, no, we have to meet Big Mommy. I said, yes, that I said so too. That. So that was how we met Big Mommy. To the glory of God, all those complaints. A child will wake up in the morning, 16 years, to climb the staircase, he will be panting. A different complaints, dizziness and all that. The other time, we, we've seen, like, in, in a month, we saw, like, four specialists. But to the glory of God, all those symptoms, all those problems, they've gone. Last month, I told him, let's go and see the nephrologist. 
My son himself said, Mommy, I'm not going. But I told him, I said, this mountain, we will go. Let's go and get the testimony. Let's get the testimony perfect. He said, Mommy, I'm okay. And I give God praise. Let somebody praise give the Lord a big shout. God, this we serve is a healer. Thank God for the, the testimony. An acre. It has to be God. God we serve will never disappoint you. From glory to glory. Thank God for your soul's healing. Affliction will not come a second time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I almost didn't want to come out, but I didn't want to be ungrateful. God has been really faithful, and I'm just here to just return all the glory to God. For five years now, I have been coming out when Big Mommy prays for pregnant women. And for all the people that I've come out for, including myself, it has been safe delivery, baby doing well, mother doing well, and I've come to return all the glory to God. There are times, especially during my own time last year, I was like, you've been praying for other people. Are you sure your own will come? I went through my own hurdles, but God too came out faithful, and I'm so grateful to God. This year's own, I was praying for five people in particular because their due dates were the um, first, quarter in, first quarter of this year. So I've always also been coming out for them too. And I just want to give God the glory that the five of them I've also put to bed, like Hallelujah. from February, March, April, the five of them have put to bed. And I'll thank God for two in particular. One is she has been married for five years and she has been having mis miscarriages back to back to back. And as at, as at last year when I was pregnant, she had miscarriage, that was in, was it September? Yes, September, she had a miscarriage in September. No. I gave birth August. So let me say July, when I was having, when my, because I gave birth at seven months, when my, when I said leaking water, I just had the urge to call her. And I reached out to her and she didn't even, I didn't even know she had a miscarriage and she just told me ah, that she just lost the one that she was expecting lately. And I just prayed with her, even with my pain, I just prayed with her. And I said, God will do it for you. I've, I've been coming out for you, as in I've been coming out when Big Mom is praying for um, pregnant women, and I've included you in my list. God will do it for you. And I just want to just thank God because last week she has given birth to her baby after Hallelujah. five years. I just want to just return all the glory to God. And there's another, the, the last one I said in particular, she just put to bed in April. Yes, she still has complications in the hospital. This is me coming out in faith that she's going to stand here and give her testimony. She will come out in our branch and give her testimony because I know that God that has perfected it for, for that sister in my church because I have prayed for her, because I have come out here every time to stand um, on behalf of pregnant women. And she has given birth, but whatever complication she is having that is making her still remain in that hospital, this is me standing in faith, knowing that we will testify. She will come out to testify. I will come out to testify in Jesus' name. Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? It's already done. Thank you, Lord, for your daughter standing in the gap. Thank you for that particular sister in Jesus' name. Can we have the mic on? Okay. When she said that she had never stayed in the hospital, she had two kids. How was it? Such kids. I have just two boys. The first one is six. And I can tell you, from the time that boy turned one, I've been a tenant in the hospital. He turned six last month. I came here to testify because he turned six on the 30th of March. My heart was full. I had on the 31st. So I was so happy that he turned six. The last time we actually stayed in the hospital was November last year. Now, there's this order that I know has been broken. From the time he turned one, every time we have 
since 2017, he turned one 2017, every time there is kingdom life, he falls ill. That week, I'm always in the hospital with him. Every year, and it happened last year, the same thing. We were in the hospital during kingdom life. So I don't attend kingdom life at all. Since online, I, I watch it online, sometimes I go back, but I have never been here physically because I'm in the hospital with that boy. So, you're going to be in kingdom life this year. The barrier is broken. I say it's broken. I say it is broken. In the name of Jesus. So last year, Kingdom Life, um, I was watching the service online, and then it dawned on me that uh, it's always drink. I don't, I'm sorry, Kingdom Life, that these boys, I, said, I don't know, the illness will just come. It will start with stomach ache from the beginning of the month, and all this period, he will not eat anything. He will just not eat, sha. So last November, we were in the hospital and they said um, we should do CT scan, blah, blah, blah. We did everything. And it's, I knew, I felt me, I thought it was a waste doing the CT scan. I was like, this boy, there is nothing wrong with him. The devil is a liar. Okay, let's just do it. So it will be like I disobeyed the doctors. So we went, did the test, did all the one. The results came clear. There was nothing wrong. But they just couldn't explain why he couldn't eat. And I told them, I said, look, I have a program on Thursday, that was a kingdom, um, the IWPC, that Kingdom Life Week, it was on the Thursday, and I said, I need to be discharged today. And he said, okay, since he has started taking PAP and everything, you can go. I've come to testify about this boy last year. So I said, okay, fine. Please, can you release me in the morning? And they said, yeah, but the doctor hasn't come. I said, I have to go. I have to be somewhere. And they were like, ah, you can't just leave. The doctor has to go. I said, please, you don't understand. I need to leave this place. I need to be somewhere. So it was one of the doctors I said, I need to be in church. I'm taking my boy to church. And she was like, church? I said, yes, I, need just, I just need to take him to church. We left, they discharged us, I think, about 11 a.m. that morning, which is against their, and he brought him straight to church. We were both looking scruffy. We came straight from the hospital. I brought him here. I was, my intention that day was to just come and put him on the altar. A big mommy asked us to come and give testimonies, but there was no testimony in November last year. So after the whole program, I brought him to the front, and my own was, if big mommy just sees him, maybe she would touch him, and truly, she saw him, and she just came there, and she touched him, and as she touched him, I said, the order is broken. The order of us not attending kingdom life every year since he turned one is broken. So when she touched him, we just went straight home. When we were driving in here, I forgot that part, when we were driving in, he was lying on the back seat because he was pretty weak. This is a child that has not eaten, because we got to the hospital that day. Um, I think it was, yes, the day of, um, the day I, um, Kingdom Life started. So, when we're driving in from the hospital, Big Mommy said, that thing you came with, you're not going back with it. And my boy heard it, and he got up and said, what did she say? I said, she said, that thing we came with. So if it's sickness or anything, you're not going back with it. And he said, ah, she's very nice. And I said, yes, she's a nice woman. And so when we got to the front and she touched him and he said, Mommy, I'm not going back with that illness. I said, you're not going back with it. He remembered, now, I, you know, Kingdom Life last day, we had Ashwabe and everything. So he was measured, we sewed and everything, but he couldn't wear it. And he was looking forward to wearing that thing because he was like, ah, everybody in the whole church is wearing Ashwabe. But we couldn't wear it. So I told him, I said, you see this thing we sewed? You're going to wear it on the last day, closing ceremony of Kingdom Life. We came to church that day. He didn't have, but I had to bring him. He was weak, yes, but I brought him to church. I took him to children's church, and I was like, you'll be with your, um, your classmates there, and then you'll come in here. So he was so excited. He even took, my husband is an enumerator, so he took a picture with the enumerators, and I was like, yes, he was wearing it. He was so happy, because I know this, he has never seen Kingdom Life. He hasn't. He hasn't experienced it. But he experienced it last year. Even if it was a closing ceremony, he experienced it, and that was my joy. Then March... His birthday, a few weeks to his birthday, he started with my tummy. And I said, ah, okay, now that is how it starts. So for like two weeks, we'll be doing tummy ache, we'll be taking anti seed and everything, then until the food thinks um, he's not able to eat anything anymore. I took, um, I think, I had to rush him to the hospital a few days to his birthday. And they said, um, no, his temperature was 39.1 that morning. 
So as I rushed him, uh, I just, my mom was, Lord, they shouldn't admit this boy because last year was the last time I stayed in that hospital. I'm not going to stay again. And that was, I said, as I enter this year, no more hospital. It was part of my prayer point. I said, I don't want to stay. I'm tired of staying in the hospital. So I was like, I don't want this hospital. Room. I don't want it. We can go and come. Fine. But I don't want to sleep. I, I can't. It's somehow, you're staying in the hospital for two weeks. Stay one week. Doing what? So it's frustrating. And I've been doing that. I can't even tell you how many. I don't even know how many. It's, it's just, it's normal for me. It's a norm. So I was like, I don't want it anymore. This order is broken. So anyway, his birthday, um, he had a line and everything. He said we had to go for injections for one full week, morning and evening. I said, okay. It was frustrating, but I was like, no problem. While we were doing his own, his younger brother too. I said, okay, now. You can, you can bring your best shot. But you see, I'm going to come to church on the 31st of March, and I'm going to dance because it was my son's birthday. He's going to enjoy that birthday. With the line, or without it, we will do it together. And I told him, I said, sweetie, you're going to have a beautiful 60th birthday. And he looked at me and said, mommy, but I'm having a line. I said, it doesn't matter. The good things are not in the hospital. They're not putting the, you are, you are going home. You sleep on your bed every night. Do you know what that is? And he said, yes, it's true. We got, I got him birthday clothes and I was like, I'm going to buy you everything new for your birthday. I bought it for him just to make him feel good because he was pretty upset about the line. And I baked him a cake. We went to, I bought party packs and everything. I took it to school. And when I was dropping him, we were coming from the hospital that morning um, because he had the injection morning and evening. And he told me, Mommy, this is a boy that hasn't really eaten. He said, Mommy, make fried rice, jollof rice, and turkey. I said, ah, But you know, he said, That's what I want. It's my birthday. I want fried rice, jollof rice, and turkey. And I said, Anything you want, I will do it. So I made that food. When he came back from school, my boy, the way he ate, the way he ate, as in the way he ate, I was just looking at him, my mom, my sister, everybody was just looking at him as in, I can't be, he ate so much and we were so happy and he was like, it's my birthday, I have eaten and I enjoyed my food. As in when he said that my heart was full and I said, I'm going to come here on the 31st to dance. We couldn't, I couldn't give my testimony last month, so I'm giving it now because God did it, he perfected it Hallelujah. and I know the order is broken. Hallelujah. I know he's the only one that can testify about, but God is faithful. God is faithful. The barrier of sickness over that child is broken. Never again. In Jesus' name. No more hospital. You won't be sleeping in the hospital, up and off and on hospital. It's not your portion. Amen. My sister, my elder sister. Um, she's been, she was diagnosed with fibroid in 2018, so, um, and from that time, the bleeding has been, it's been something else every month when she has a cycle. Um, we, were, she, we were hoping that she would do the operation maybe like 2020, but because of the COVID and all, and the back and forth, she couldn't do it. So we're just believing God. Now, it got to a point that it was so bad that in a month, you understand, when, you're spending like 20, 25,000 on sanitary towels. And then, just sanitary towels. And that is for that month alone. And then because her blood level was always going down, there's a particular drug she has to take, and it has to be two bottles, which is like 20K. So it was, it was bad. December last year, about Christmas, her birth, she was born on Christmas Day. So it was a few days to Christmas. And then I wanted to leave my boys with her so I could go for shopping. And she was like, I shouldn't leave the boys. Now, that's unlike my sister, because she's always looking forward to spending time with her nephews. But I was like, okay, no problem. Unknown to us, she had discussed with another doctor friend, and that one asked her to go and do a blood test. When she got to the place, they did the P, 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 PCV, and it was 18%. And then they asked her to stay where she was. So she just called us. We left her at home, and the next thing she called us that she's in the hospital, that she can't move, her blood level is pretty low. And I was like, okay. So that, from where I was, I just rushed to the hospital. And then we had to quickly buy two pints of blood. So she would be transfused and all. This was a few days to Christmas. And I told her, I said, look, you know what? The siege is broken. You will enjoy, we are going to have a Merry Christmas. Because she's like the life of, she holds us together kind of. So I was like, we're going to have a Merry Christmas. You will be at home. We are going to enjoy this Christmas. And then we started praying, and I told God, I said, if 
it's for her to remove this fiber. You will bring someone that, you will just bring someone that will give, put her mind at rest. And to God be the glory, she met a doctor in February. In April, I was with her all through. On the 10th of April, the fibroid was removed. Now, this thing that has been causing problems it was not even up to one kg, but it was multiple. It was like about 18 pieces and all. They removed every single thing. Her healing, everything was, it was just seamless. Thank as in, go to the glory. Thank and I was like, you, like play, like play. It's all over. I just want to thank God Hallelujah. because he's been faithful. There's one, I'm praying for a massive testimony for her. I want her to be married. She's my elder sister. I can't wait for her to be married. I know she's going to be married. I just can't wait. It's I just can't done. wait. God is faithful. Thank you so it's much. It's already done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on. Father, I thank you for our son. Thank you. You will enjoy this year's kingdom life. Makata yada bashete yada. I declare and so shall it be. Every barrier is broken. Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for adding another year into my life. On Monday was, on my, was my birthday. And I want to thank God because last year birthday I was sick. And all I could do was to call and call some, a sister in the church and she prayed for me. And this year I'm thanking God because I'm alive and in good health. I am celebrating my birthday. Hallelujah. And all the glory to God. The devil has lost the battle over your life. You will see many, many more years. Put your marks up. You see many, many more years in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Last, um, last month, I was in my house. One woman was just coming in Maryland. So the woman was just smiling, smiling to me. So he came to me when I was sitting down. So the woman started talking to me about this uh, prayer school. Like that. The woman talked to me. I, I knew about it. So as I was talking to the sinners, she saw bandage on my leg. So she asked me what happened to me. I told her that I had an accident. So we talked. After everything, the woman asked me to come to prayer school here. And I said, okay, we had a discussion. So I came. That day, then when they asked the first um, time to come out, I came out. So when I was going, big mommy prayed for me. When I was going, they now prayed for me. And I bet I received the prayer. So after I got home, I removed the bandage by faith. So the, I, I was on bandage. I bandaged my leg that day. So I removed it by faith. Since then, I did not put the bandage again. My leg was healed. Hallelujah. I was healed. But today, since then, I removed the bandage. But the leg, I was healed. But it's like the leg, the blood is not flowing. The leg is heavy me. Today, when mommy was praying, he said we should come out. When I came out, the heaviness vanished away and free. Our fiction will not come a second time. Can somebody give, a, give, give me an anointing or you go and rub it on that leg? That leg is gone completely in the name of Jesus. I remember that day you had a bandage and I pointed to you. What God has done is total. Okay? No more bandaging. The blood will flow from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Every organ functioning the perfection to which God created it, there shall be no malfunction. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear a better amen. I didn't hear a louder amen. I did not hear the loudest amen. There's a sister at the back. I'm waiting for your day. You are the one that is making your hair. Yeah. Uh, fair hair. Fair hair. Yeah. God has not forgotten you. Amen. 
Shete. That sister come. Man no rubu shete yada ba ba da ba da ba da ba. Speedily. I told you people, I said there's so much anointing in the house. You can receive anything. So much anointing. Next person, next person. Next person, testimony. Praise the Lord. When Big Mommy was praying for, uh, for us, before then I had pains in my abdomen. I went to the hospital yesterday, they took my blood sample and they took my urine. When the result came out, they said they didn't see anything. I said, but... They didn't see anything, but where am I feeling pains? I feel pains and I see there is fire in my womb and in my stomach and I feel pains here. The doctor said they didn't check, they didn't see anything. But they, they just said they saw malaria parasite and they gave me drugs. So when big mommy was praying this afternoon, I mean this morning when she was praying for us, I felt the pains have gone, I don't feel it anymore. And that's why I said, let me come out and give the glory to God in the name of Jesus. He's gone, he's gone. When God does something, he does it completely. No more pain. No more pain. He has healed you completely. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Makoto yada bashete yada bakoto man no robo bobo robo shete. Can you stand up and start to receive? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Kakata. Kakata yada bashete. Kakata yada bashete yada bakoto. Kanara baba baba raba shete. Kaka yada baba baba. Kalara baba baba raba shete yada baba baba la raba. Kanara baba baba raba shete yada da 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 da. Ikalara baba 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 raba shete. Kalara baba baba baba. Mano robo 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 shete yada baba baba. Precious singers, lift up your hands. In the name. In the name. I say in the name. Every yoke over your life. Today I command them broken. Just take it. Just take it. Take whatsoever you pray for. Uche, come. Makata yadaba. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. That yoke over your life. Today I break it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it. It's done. I say it's done. I say it's done. I say it's done. I say it is done.
you pray in the prayer language of the Spirit. anointing that is present in the house today. Everything you came with that is not of God, you are not going to go back with them. in your life. I say a new day is done in your life. I say a new day is done in your life. I say a new day is done in your life. In the name of Jesus. There's so much anointing. There's so much anointing. There's so much anointing in the house. So much anointing. So much anointing. Bakata yada basete. So much anointing in the house. return the same way you had come. Online, Taraban Church, receive yours in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to send us your testimony. It's not the work of any man, but the work of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands and thank you. Lift up your hands and thank him. Lift up your hands and thank him. Lift up your hands and thank him. much power there's much so much anointing in the house so much so much anywhere you are you can receive so much 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 yakata yada basete so much so much so much so much so much so much I receive. I receive. Say it, I receive it. I receive. Say it again, I receive it. I receive. Say it one more time, I receive. I receive. Yeah. I release it now. I say I release it now. All over the auditorium. Online. Taraba Church. I release it. I release it. 
Now in the name of Jesus. I call it done. I say I call it done. I say I call it done. Can you give me a shout? Twelve o'clock. We're about to go. Last month, I Makaya Dabashiti. Where is the thing I told you to bring? Last month, I didn't take the orphanage offering. We're going to drop it at the altar. So take an orphanage offering. Thank you. For the wife. Total holiness. happened today is not the work of any man but the work of any the work of the Holy Spirit and I know that I know what is uh, Nena's sister former Nena Bishop come come much anointing. There's so much anointing in this place. There's so much anointing. There's so much anointing. So much. So much. So much. So much anointing. There's so much anointing. So much anointing. So much anointing, so much, so much, so much anointing. Ah. There's so much anointing in the house. So much anointing in the house. So much anointing in the house. Everyone stand. Have you taken up your your covenant, uh, your orphanage offering? IWPC for May for your testimony will be on the 26th, 26, 26 of May. We are going to hear your testimony. Give me my, my boss. We are going to drop the orphanage. Father, thank you.
You are not going home the same way you came today. Every barrier is removed. Every barrier. Every barrier. The blood of Jesus has removed every barrier. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I bless the orphanage offering. There will always be food on our table, clothes at our back, and shelter over our heads. In the name of Jesus, we will not lack. Our children will not lack. Our family will not lack. Thank you. In Jesus' name. I say drop it on the altar. Let's share the grace before you drop it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Come. Yeah. Tells me ah! all my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Yeah.